And it's just been such an extraordinary last few days. Maggie Krell, proud to watch her former boss Kamala Harris rise to the top of the Democratic presidential ticket. You know, what President Biden did, the difficulty of the decision that he made, um, the incredible presidency that he's already had, and really, you know, putting his country first and choosing to pass the torch. What an incredible historic thing that people don't ordinarily do. And then, you know, seeing Kamala Harris just rise in this moment in the way that she's consolidated support, the way that she's energized people, the way that she's just activated such a strong and enthusiastic and excited network. Um, I mean, I can feel it. I am so pumped. Krell is running her own campaign to represent Sacramento in the state assembly. When Harris served as California's attorney general, Krell worked with her from 2010 to 2016. I was a deputy attorney general and then a supervising deputy attorney general during that time. And having her as a boss, um, as a, the top law enforcement officer in California um, was really just a terrific experience for me as a young prosecutor. She led with so much courage and so much tenacity and really you know, expanded the role of our office, um, the footprint of our office, what we could do. What takeaways from seeing Kamala on the political stage have you maybe been inspired by as, as you make your run? Well, I think about um, how she always really centered people. Uh, with everything she did. I mean, when I was on calls, I remember briefing her about a big, you know, big sex trafficking case we were going to file. And her first question was always, wait, what about the victims? How are the victims doing? Have you figured out what, how you're going to get service providers to the victims? She is a person who just um, really leads from her heart, really leads from her heart. And she's also just so smart and well prepared. I mean, she would. Um, you know, request briefings and ask tough questions and, you know, whatever the weakness is in the case, you know, she would find it. Krell's campaign plans to advocate for a new constitutional amendment to protect the right to abortion in Nevada. It's a push she thinks Harris's candidacy will help. The volunteers are ecstatic to go and knock on doors for Kamala Harris for president. She's been at the forefront of the right to choice. I mean, she did that as a DA. She did that as an attorney general. She did that when she got to the Senate. And she was the lead on that as vice president of the United States. As Harris tries to make her case for the presidency, Krell is confident she'll continue to make history. We saw Mexi Mexico um, recently elect a woman president, and the United States is still waiting. It's still a glass ceiling, and it's one that you know she's capable of breaking. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, KCRA 3 News. Carl says the last time she saw Harris was just earlier this year at a political fundraiser here in Sacramento. Carl faces Republican Nikki Ellis in the November election for state assembly.